I'm Penelope Delahan and I'm an illustrator. I've been doing freelance art and illustration for a little over 10 years now and working from home and, and just kind of doing a lot of client work and a lot of personal projects and a lot of um, playing with art. I try not to bring the same techniques to every illustration I do because I think that would be um, kind of boring for me. So I, I am always experimenting with different mediums and um, techniques to see kind of what would be interesting. Every day I walk down by the river behind my house. Um, it's just this really humble little woods but and this beautiful river. Um, and I walk down there with my dog and I just do it to, to kind of center myself, just kind of notice what's around me. A lot of times I get real quiet and stop and listen and I hear, you know, the birds and woodpeckers and see herons and notice little footprints in the sand. Days run, nights fall away. I think that I bring that kind of energy into my work, which is just kind of like this calm, uh, meditative essence. I think my personal work is more focused on noticing what's around you and, and being more in the moment, just stopping to notice what's beautiful in the day to day life. For me, it's all about process. You know, like the final piece can be great and, and inspiring, but for me, it was about am I enjoying doing the work? You know, like am I, am I in the moment? And, and am I pushing myself and, and creating something that is bringing me back to myself? I experiment a whole lot with how I approach my art. Lately it's been these interesting um, ink transfers where you're using two different types of paper and um, getting a really unique expressive line um, with, with that. Um, and, and somehow bringing that into the artwork where it's, it's, it's not something that you can really control, but it's, it's almost like a lack of control. And it really translates into a piece that's really expressive and, and different. And so I've been experimenting with that. And I do um, lino cut stamps. Lino cut is where you have a thin piece of uh, linoleum and you use tools to cut into it. And then you use those shapes to do um, ink pad and then uh, on the ink pad and then you stamp those onto your paper to have interesting textures and that sort of thing. So for me it's all about the process and how things lead into one another. It's not just like you show up because you're inspired, it's because you've been doing so much, it's momentum, you know? So, um, so that, doing the lino cut stamps kind of brought me into doing um, these cut out things in acetate so I can get these really bold blocks of color. Um, from the acetate and then I use a stamp pad to get these really interesting textures. Or I'll use a brush and pull in from the side so it has a hand brush quality. But everything I do is is hand done. You know, I do all my line work as as a layer and I do all my blocks of color as a layer and I kind of pull it all together into a computer, the Photoshop file, and and uh, I'm able to make changes for clients very easily um, when that's the case. And, and it's just helpful to be able to like print it and sell it from my my shop and I think it's just it helps me be able to play you know there's a lot of different varieties that of things you can do um, on the computer and it's just it's just fun to kind of experiment with that particular tool I think art I think art is is so important because I think if you don't I mean if you if you can picture a world without art you know it's really functional for sure but there's it, there's just boring and it's just it's just um, bland and you know there's and I think art gives the form to that function. If you go to a gallery show or if you go um, to a specific artist's website and you find something that really resonates with you and you buy that piece like that's something to talk about you know like why did you choose that you know why why is that interesting to you and maybe it'll be interesting to somebody that you share that with you know and and it's not just something that anybody could have like it's it's almost like um, an expression of who you are. Love to